is not clickbait. We do believe we have bought the next Bitcoin. And by next Bitcoin, I believe that this coin can go from $376 to over $20,000 before um, the end of the year. Now, you guys may be, may be thinking that is absolutely absurd, but let me explain why. Now, before I get into the video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And as always, guys, make sure you click the bell notification icon so you can keep up to date with all my recent videos. And remember, guys, nothing you see in this video is financial advice. So always make sure to do your own research. Now, what is Aave? It's an Ethereum token that powers Aave a, and is essentially a decentralized, decentralized non-custodial money market protocol where users can participate as depositors and borrowers. So for those of you that are in liquid pools, you're going to understand, you know, a bit about how this works. So depositors provide liquidity to the market to earn passive income while borrowers are able to borrow cryptocurrencies in exchange for paying variable interests so this is actually quite a very 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 interesting project and i did hear about it quite some time ago but i'll be honest i wasn't even though it was attractive to me i did see more attractive projects so i didn't actually have any in my portfolio which is quite shocking but then when i would watch interviews from you know people that are not really in the crypto space but are trying to get into the crypto space i kept noticing that they kept mentioning this coin and what caught my attention was when Mark Cuban was talking about it so, so for those of you that don't know Mark Cuban is a serial entrepreneur billionaire uh, from America owns the Dallas Cowboys uh, I believe uh, no a basketball team I'm not don't quote me on the basketball team guys I'm based in the UK but he owns uh, no the Mavericks there we go he owns the Mavericks in America the basketball team he he was a part of um selling his company to yahoo for four billion or i believe two billion two to four billion in the early 2000s so this is someone that is extremely credible and again not a lot of people believe in the uh, cryptocurrency space i don't believe he did at the start either however it seems that he's now warming to it and he says that he's holding quite a lot of ave now of course personally that was great but at the same time i was like okay that's good for him and then most recently yesterday uh gary v mentioned it as well so that's what caught my eye. And for those of you who don't know Gary V is, you must know who Gary V is. Again, another uh, entrepreneur owns a social media uh, giant. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Gary, uh, v Gary Vayner Media also had early investments in Uber um, and other, not sorry, not Uber, um, Snap, Snapchat and other uh, companies of that of that you know standard so yeah he's he's really has a track record of spotting good opportunities so then when he mentioned it as well it's almost like a confirmation bias right i was always interested in it then i got two confirmations from credible people so i was like you know what i have to act on it when the market is low and in fact we did buy at a, at a low so it worked out perfect for us and we're already in profit on this up over 28 percent so yeah really really good entry already in profit but most of all the reason why i'm attracted to this project as well guys is because of the supply right the circulating supply of of uh, of coins available is actually only 12.4 million 12.4 million right so that's less than bitcoin big remember guys bitcoin is 25 million um ave is 12.4 billion 12.4 million sorry so low circulating supply also when we look at the trading activity you know traders are very bullish on this right you know when we look at the buyers and sellers so we got six it, coinbase stats 64.8 percent are buying are buying this at the moment in terms of the sellers only being 35.2 percent so that's also a good indication now what i'm noticing though from the stats is not a lot of people are holding for the long term which is where we step in and really seize the opportunity so we're we're definitely looking uh forward uh to to um seeing how this particular project goes and then when we look at projects like yearn for example 
I don't know if, you, if any of you guys know about Yearn, Yearn Finance. So they're currently above 24,000, 24, uh, around 30,000 dollars at the moment. Uh, so again, they're doing quite well. And it seems like a similar, we're seeing a similar kind of pattern here uh, with, um, in regards to the, the movement, right? So we saw this Yearn Finance go from 500 British pounds in uh, 2020 to all the way up to 30,000 pounds in that same year, right? So again, guys, Please don't take this as financial advice. I'm not saying this is going to go to 20, you know, a million, you know, a million per coin or 30,000 per coin by the end of this year. But I'm just saying that this is a project that is good to keep an eye on. And then when we look at Yearn Finance, obviously it's a bit different because they only have 36,000 coins in circulation. So obviously that's the reason why they were such as you know when you've got a good project and you've got a low circulating supply i mean it's a recipe for winning basically right especially if you get in that early and i believe amazon's also invested in that or something of that sort but anyway before we go off on a tangent that's just a bit of an update that i wanted to give to you guys obviously we can look into the technicals quickly before we wrap things up so what we saw almost immediately was price pull back into this key uh, support area. And as you can see, we saw several rejections at this area, which is uh, the $323 area before we saw price rally to the upside. So like I said, market pullbacks are great because it allows us to buy in at cheaper price. And this is already at $375 per coin. So I'm not complaining at all. Probably do a highlight on this just so that you guys can have a closer look at the overall zone. So this is a great buying zone. We can expect to see price rally uh, directly to the upside. And if we are going to look at where price could potentially go next, i am just got my eyes back on all-time highs. I just want to obviously want price to retest all-time highs. We'll take it from there. I'll do another update once we do hit that area. That's going to be a 54% move, right? So quite a significant move to the upside. And then after that, we can start mapping out, you know, we can start mapping out where price could potentially go once we do clear our all-time highs. But for now, we're definitely waiting for price to break all-time highs again. But we can see we bought at a very, very good area. If price does fall below this um support area which i don't expect it to do we will probably just buy a bit more increase our holdings one last time and then we'll continue to just ride price up but very very interesting project looking forward to see how this progresses throughout the year if you manage to stumble across my channel make sure you subscribe and make sure you like because it helps the youtube algorithm and you can see more content just like this and that's the point guys you know we're just about changing lives here if this video is enough to be able to you know to spark something in your mind or let you were looking at the project but wasn't quite sure now you have four confirmations you've got two billionaires you know one multi-millionaire and then you've got you know loads of loads of loads of content online that you can you know reassess have a look at and do your own research so guys have a incredible new year again. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, guys, when others are greedy, be fearful. When others are fearful, be greedy. And right now, we can see a lot of fear in the market. So we're snapping everything up. And with that being said, guys, seize the day.